go off the builds, and in today's video, I'm going to be building a miner's mercer's mercer uh, right at this spot here. And uh, I've done a bit of uh, off-camera work, but I'll uh, show that after we've built the uh, the miner's mercer, which I'm going to begin building now.
All right, the Miner's Mercer is complete. And I'll do a quick glance on the exterior. It's very consistent with, uh, well, the, uh, the materials used are consistent. Its uh, shape is not quite consistent. I didn't really actually plan out the shape. I just uh, sort of dug a uh, basement level large enough to fill in the empty space that was over here. So the Miner's Mercer is actually a little bit larger than it's uh, justified for. But uh, there are five people a part of the Mercer. And up here is basically where they meet. When I get some uh, reed farms going, if I do at all for this town, I'll get some bookcases in here. Which, again, prob may not happen since uh, I'm almost actually done with this town. And I haven't set up a reed farm. That's something I should have done from the beginning. But they have, uh, they store various ores that they mine in here. I don't, I would put coal in here. I may do that. And cobblestone. This is where they keep their tools. So in general, it's pretty basic. But, uh, I've, I've, I plan on pretty much building, uh, a Mercer for all the major... Uh, functions or the uh, trades or skill sets that uh, are necessary for the town. That right there is a nearly complete uh, farmer's mercer or agricultural mercer. I built this off camera. You know, I just have to uh, put a roof and uh, do some interior work there, such as uh, chairs and whatnot. I've also built uh, the structures for all the houses over here. I'm not positive of whether or not this is all the houses I will be building for this town of Agrippa. I haven't done the interiors for most of these houses. And something else that I've done is for pretty much all the buildings except for the barracks, I've uh, gone ahead and fixed the uh, cobblestone uh, contrast issue. And I think uh, the majority of the buildings look much nicer now. I think uh, I think for this town I should have used uh, less of the smooth stone or smooth sandstone and more of uh, this kind of uh, sandstone. Simply because uh, I think the uh, smooth sandstone has more of an urban look that I want to betray in the larger cities, but I'm not going to change that out now. Also, uh, regarding how I'm going to illuminate these streets, I'm going to try out uh, Goodman Ghost's suggestion and uh, dig two deep holes, put lava at the bottom and glass over the top, and see how well that lights up. And uh, if it lights up pretty, if it illuminates pretty well, I'll use that system. But other than that, I might have to uh, do glowstone uh, street lights again. And for now, that's everything. Uh, I don't have very much more to build. I think uh, I'm going to build a trade mercer here. It's not really, not so much a, a guild as much as a, the main place where I'll trade between other uh, towns from the sand uh, democracy. And not so much uh, other towns outside of the sand democracy kingdomship simply because uh another attribute about the uh the sand people is that they're very uh hostile towards uh people who are not part of their sect or their uh culture simply because it's a uh, uh outside cultures as far as third world are not as strict as the sand peoples are and they depend upon their uh their strict societal rules for uh, thriving and surviving, so outside influences are definitely frowned upon. But uh, what I have left is just the uh, a wall around the town, and I I may be doing a video on that. I'm not sure, uh, since I plan on making the wall more than just a one block thick wall, sort of like something like this. I plan on making it. Uh, double walled simply because I want to I think it's better that way
But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and there will be more videos to come soon.